There's been a bit of bother with our sister Mary Ann. She had a sweetheart and his name was Fred Fernacapan. She said, I'll ask him all for tea, he'd love to look around. So all the family turned up to see what she had found. There was father and mother and sister Mary Ann waiting to welcome Fred Fernacca Pam. There were uncles and aunties and others of our clan waiting to welcome Fred Fernacca Pam. Round the kitchen table they all sat twiddling their thumbs and then they heard a doorbell ring and they all said here he comes. Father said, he looks a gob just like our Mary Ann. Sit down and make yourself at home, Fred Fernacapan. The family questioned Fred as fast as they could speak. How much did he have in bank and how much did he earn a week? He didn't say a word, so father said it seems to me. The poor gobs proper poorly let him have a spot of tea. There were pancakes and pork pies and plates of beef and ham waiting to welcome Fred for Nakapan. There were coal tripe and trotters and lots of bread and jam waiting to welcome Fred for Nakapan. Oops. Fred sat there without a word, as mournful as could be. Mother said, what ails thee, lad? Come and get thyself some tea. He said, my teeth are falling out. I dropped them as I ran. The only one who couldn't eat was Fred Fernacapan. We finished tea and then sat down just like a flock of sheep. Mary Ham was so fed up she went right off to sleep. Father said, we can't sit here like images in the night. Let's have a drink and then poor Gop will feel all right. There were whiskey and brandy and pot wine in a can. Waiting to welcome Fred Fernacopan. There were bottled ale and bottled stout, enough to fill a van. Waiting to welcome Fred Fernacopan. Then we heard a knock and someone said, Is Freddy here? It's eight o'clock and time for you to be in bed, me dear. He said, It's me mother's come for me and off he quickly ran and that was the last we saw of Fred Fernaka Pan La 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 Fred Fernaka Thank you to my lovely assistant.